Hello, 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 everyone. Thank you for tuning in. I am Jay Lee. This is Jay Corner. This is going to be a quick review. No lipstick. I ain't going to get y'all an intro either. Y'all already know. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Uh, relax, relate, release, and inhale and exhale and all that stuff. Follow me on IG and on Twitter at J underscore V underscore Corner. Boom. Done. Um, this, you know, we all understand that, you know, the virus shut everything down and i feel like you know with this being black and cool chicago the season six finale they pieced this shit together just to have a click in the view okay and i don't know why and i saw my i can't girl I, okay we're gonna let it be i'm assuming when it comes back for season seven it'll be more but we i mean we could have guessed all this shit from the news Okay, we see Dre riding around with a mask on. You know what I'm saying? Dre, who used to work at Second City, now she's at Nine Mag or whatever, riding around with a mask on. Like the whole pandemic is crazy, but I'm going to get my nails done at the tattoo shop. Going to run some errands and then go to the shop to do a tattoo. I'm not doing the pandemic, but I digress. She even gives the whole nail salon a shout out because they took my temperature first and had me put a mask on. Don't get your nails done in the pandemic. Okay, Drea, this is going on somewhere. And Drea, I don't even think she's tattooing at Second City or at NADMAC for that matter because on her IG, I text people's IGs. She was like in somebody's house. So I'm looking like, girl, what you doing? We don't know, okay? And Plug is in Atlanta. He not at Second City. And then the dude Prince with a little short dregs, he's the only one who seems to be tattooing at Second City. But I digress, okay? We see Bella and Brittany. You know, Brittany's a tattoo artist in that Mac. Bella and Brittany at the grocery mall, okay? Trying to get some essential foods and supplies, but all the aisles was well, some of the aisles. It's empty, whatever, all the bread gone, all the tissue gone, whatever. People, it's it's crazy that it's still hard to get tissue. My mama couldn't get uh, um, Clorox or well, any kind of disinfecting wipes from the store the other day. I'm like, well, they need to just make more. We need some more, but I digress, okay? And again, this is all when it first started happening before anybody really knew how serious it was. Because even at my job, when my boss, like, you know, it's some virus going around, we're like, what virus? What happened? I don't even think I was taking things as serious until, like, around March 15th. Through the 20th. And that's what we're on top of close up. Whatever. But again. You know. They like all the aisles. is empty. I wish we can get some stuff. But we got some water. And a whole bunch of potatoes. People was getting things. That you could. You, you know. It would last a long time. You don't get. You know. Some, some hamburger meat. If your freezer full. Because you ain't gonna have no room for it. But if you, if you got. You know. Some, a sack of potatoes. You can cut them potatoes up. And it'll last all week. Okay. But I'm gonna digress. Now we also bring up. Kitty, Kitty at home and just FaceTime Kitty because again, what we gonna do? You know what I'm saying? Clients is canceling or whatever. The tattoo artists are nervous, you know, to come to work or whatever. Is it you know safe to even give a tattoo? Because again, this is when no one knew how it was how it was spreading and all that and all that. And you know, this it's, it's just weird because you know we just opened the shop up, we started to make some money, or whatever, and now this now just brings up how her family in London at this point in time was saying how things were shut down already in London. At this point in time, things were not shut down in Chicago. They were still, you know, doing things, or whatever. But in London, London, things were already shut down. So it's gonna be rough. Like if we if we have to shut down Second City Kid and just you know, can we come back from that? I mean, probably if the landlords don't evict y'all, y'all could because again, at this point in time, everything was closed down. But we're gonna leave that be. Now nine Mac was still open, still taxing people or whatever. But we see everybody who's uh, you know doing. Um, the shooting or whatever, they're recording on their cell phones. It's not their regular camera crew. So Ryan, Thor, and Don was at the gym with their cell phones or whatever. Ryan going back to Nine Mag with his cell phone. It's all cell phone footage and whatnot. And seeing, and he brings up how to the governor. Okay, uh, gives the whole everyone got to shut it down. Like we're gonna be here to so open, but we're gonna clean up 
you know, a lot. It's going to be a whole lot of sanitizing all the time or whatever. But he brings up at this point in time, the schools had then shut down. So, like, now me and Rachel have to not only co-parent, you know what I'm saying, and get the kids back and forth, but we have to not help them and, and teach them at home and be their teachers, okay? Boom. Now, we then see Donna and Affy have a conversation because, you know, Affy, I want to move to Texas. Every time her and I get the beef and she wants to leave the state, I'm like, girl, okay, but... You know, she like, I think I want to go to Texas because, you know what I'm saying, it's lower cases in Texas right now. And I'm like, girl, not no more. And, you know what I'm saying, I still kind of want to go. He's like, ah, no, that ain't smart. Like, I'm saying, you have to still travel to get there. You have to travel on a plane to get to te- You can't fly. Now, my kids, not today, okay? I don't think it's smart. I think, you know what I'm saying, uh, we need to be in one house, I'm saying, is with the boys and the school being closed and this and that, whatever. I feel like, you know, even though we're not on the best terms right now, I think that we should quarantine as a family together. Now, first, I don't know, Don, because, you know, you, I don't know. He like, look, I just think it'd be the best thing. You, you would need help with the boys. Well, you right. Because Don may not be the best husband, but he's a great father. So she agrees for them to co-parent and to coexist and to quarantine together as a family. I'm like, why the house ain't got no furniture? Anyway, we then see uh, Kitty. Kitty gets a face time from Steven, okay? The sexy London friend of Jess. And, you know, he like, look, you know what I'm saying? Me and Jess is flying back to England Today, okay, mainly because one, we here and we can't work, um, and two, we want to be closer to our families because again, like at that point in time, they were canceling and shutting down international travel. So if they get stuck here, they don't have any idea when they'll be able to get back to their families. You know, because their whole families is in London, and so he brings about you know, I just, I can't, I just got here to the U.S. and I haven't even had a chance to do a tattoo just yet or whatever. But you know, what I'm saying we're gonna fly back because you know, what I'm saying we can possibly get money there can get any money here okay but kids say okay i get it you know what i'm saying that's family what not you know family makes the most sense and when he asked her like is she gonna stay in chicago or go you know home where her daddy is she's like no i'm gonna stay here because my dad is older so i don't want to run the risk of getting him sick so i just stay here in quarantine on my own but i'm the only child so i'm used to being by myself i'm like that makes sense he's gonna be like but you know what just not just you know what kid i like you you know what I'm saying? I wanted to, you know what I'm saying, get to know you. So you think when I get back here, if I come back or whatever, you can, like, you know, take me around the town to show me around Chicago. She's like, but I'm not from here. So if I take you around, we're going to get lost. But I, I guess he like her. She say he cool or whatever. And who the can happen? So, yes, when and if you come back, you know, we can go out and hang out and we can see what the city be like. I'm like, I guess so. Um... We then see the executive order coming down. Boom. Shut it all down. Shut it all down. I look like, how did y'all have a whole thing? What is for? Where is for? Why we ain't seen shit before? I feel like you could have showed more of other people's things going on. Like, y'all could have showed some van shit. And you know just to feel the time, I feel like they wasn't showing us too much. You know, before the shut shit down came on. So, Ryan, like, oh, crap. You know what I'm saying? I got to shut my shop down. And he brings, like, oh, I knew it was coming. However, I feel bad for my employees who won't know where their next check will come from. Or if they're not working, it'll come from unemployment. Okay? And that extra $600. I'm like, that was a lot. I, girl, I wish I could stay home. Anyway, we then see after the executive orders to shut all the shops down or all non-essential uh you know, places down or whatever, they then have the whole stay-at-home order that comes into place or whatever. And so now, can't nobody go nowhere. And we see that Rachel and Ryan is on FaceTime, and, you know, he like, I want to see the kids. I said, you know, can I come and stay there to be, you know, to be around the boys? She's like, no, nah, I don't think that's right, because, again, we're not a couple. But I'm looking like, but if y'all call parenting, I mean... It could have worked, but I guess, you know, she... <laughs> I get it. Is this? They're talking at a time when they didn't know then what we know now. You know what I'm saying? Like they didn't know then it's gonna last the whole summer. Like that was March shit. Just kind of sort of getting back to normal. Not even normal. Getting back into the swing of things. You know what I'm saying today. So again, they like yeah. We hope it will only last a couple weeks 
and that'll be it or what not, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't know what to do, you know what I'm saying? People being dumb and shopping for tissue and not food and all the stores sold off for shit or whatever. So, again, this is all, you know, we don't know how bad it's going to get conversation. So, why it seems a little bit, oh, y'all being sucky. Like, y'all complaining, like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, it can be a couple weeks not knowing it's going to get bad. Like, you know, we just didn't know then. I think if we knew then what we knew now, people may not have panicked the way they panicked. You could have prepared better or whatever. Um, so again, we see that. We then see Kit having shut down Second City. We see Ryan and his art. The funny part was Kit at Second City alone, but Ryan was at, was at NAMAG with, you know, multiple artists. Because again, Ryan has a, artist, a shop full of artists um, who was, you know, cleaning up things or whatever and taking their stuff to leave because again, they don't know when will be the next time they'll be there. Okay, so yeah. We then see Charmaine and Nick have a baby. Boom. Okay. You know, she the epidural feels good. I feel good. You know, it's kind of crazy having the whole baby during this whole thing or whatnot. But I'm quarantined here. They took my pressure and my, my, my temperature or whatever. Me and Neek good. We see that she FaceTime her cousin Danielle and say, you know, you're the only person I'm going to allow to come down here to get dressed, take a shower, and come see the baby or whatnot. And then Epidural was working. She felt real, real good. And then, you know what I'm saying? She said, I pulled the strength from the vision of my mama holding my daughter. And that's how I was able to get through this delivery or whatever. And as she's in labor, we don't see any labor. We don't even see her pushing. We don't. They didn't show the birth. They showed her talking to Nick when she was high on drugs and then we see she, they holding the baby. So we really didn't see her give birth at all, not at all. Um, but again, as she's talking about giving birth, we see the video montage of her mom talking to her over the years on the show. And I'm like, damn. that look, I would not have, if I was Charmaine, I would not have been able to watch today's show and not just be on the floor bawling somewhere crying because it was so sad. You know what I'm saying? Just knowing how her mama had been talking to her and advising her all these years. Just saying, look, like I'm always with you. Mama's always there. And it's like, damn, good night. You know what I'm saying? Girl, a lot. And then, of course, the baby was born, no little in the bay. And that was it. That's it. Um, I mean, they can start shooting shit now because Chicago back opened up, basically. Um, I don't know how, nine, I mean, I don't know how Black Ink uh, New York going to do. Or even, is Black Ink Compton canceled? Girl, I don't know. Anyway, that was it. You know what I'm saying? They closed down. They had a baby. We don't know what the fuck Ford doing. Is. We don't know where he had or nothing. Um, who's who else in they show? I just felt like they could have showed more. You showed Plug and all them all season. Now we have no Plug. We had no Prince. I'm like, for what? I just felt like it was nothing for an hour. Just nothing. Yeah, you know, it's getting tough. We don't know what we're going to do. You may have to shut down. I don't know. What we going to I'm looking like, that's it? Okay. Anyway, I'm done. Peace.